the reunion of Episcopal Conferences of West Africa, RACOA, has ended their week-long conference in Abuja with the closing mass. The closing mass was officiated by the new RACOA president, Most Reverend Alexis Twabli, with top government functionaries in attendance. The report. The long reunion of Episcopal Conferences of West Africa, RECOA, was held at the Cathedral of Twelfth Apostle Kubwa Abuja. The Mass drew bishops from the 16 West African country, countries who are in Abuja for their fourth General Assembly meeting. The Mass was officiated by the new RECOA president, Most Reverend Alexis Twabli. Before the commencement of the Mass proper, the outgoing president of RECOA, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, introduced the new RECOA president and his executive to the faithful. He thereafter handed over the document of RECOA to the new president in a seamless transition. We are here for the concluding mass of the 4th General Assembly of RECOA. First, as vice president of RECOA for three years, and then as president for six years, I today humbly wish to present the new president of RECOA and his team elected for the next three years. Après mon service humble et modeste, d'abord, Most Reverend Alexi Twable, he is the Bishop of Aboville in Ivory Coast, our new RECOA president. Je voudrais humblement faire la passation de ce dossier officiel. The Archbishop of Cape Coast, Ghana, Most Reverend Charles Palma Boko, in his homily, emphasized the need for faithful to have a purposeful living according to God's perfect design. He also called on parents to help their children to understand the calling of God. We are to pray and reflect on what each one is called to be according to the eternal wisdom of God who created each and every one of us and created us in his own image and likeness and therefore God has a specific plan for each one of us there was Eucharistic celebration and offertory after the homily. Archbishop Palmaboko presented the pastoral message from the conference to the faithful, where he emphasized the, the threat of the encyclical of Pope Francis, Fratelli Tutti. Further inspired the United Nations General Assembly to adopt February 4 as the International Day of human fraternity. From his encounter with the Grand Imam al Taib, our Holy Father states, and I quote, we declared that God has created all human beings. In his word of appreciation, Archbishop Kegama appreciated the federal government of Nigeria and all who gave support for the successful hosting of the conference by the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria. He added that RECOA has now been given a diplomatic status. And that is why I have to be involved, whether I like it or not, coordinating the whole of West Africa and ensuring that this meeting was held and held well too. That was one rule. Then as Archbishop of Abuja, I had to beg you to help me to host these people coming. And I am so happy and proud that you have done so. I give you distinction. The President of Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, CBCN, Most Reverend Lucio Sugoji, gave the vote of thanks. Dear brothers, dear sisters, with this solemn mass, I declare closed the fourth plenary assembly of RECOA. God bless you. 
The flag parade by the children signifies the official closing of the Rekoa Conference. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.